If you're planning to buy a drone and you've been eyeing on a DJI Mavic Mini, then this video is for you. What is up YouTube and welcome to another video. Today we'll be testing the maximum altitude and distance of the DJI Mavic Mini. We will be testing the Mavic Mini's performance in an urban area, not to mention a place very close to an international airport. The Mavic Mini brags a maximum of 4 kilometers flight distance and altitude. By the way, this video is inspired by Cheston Uy, a fellow Filipino creator who also uploaded a Mavic Mini range test in his channel. I'll put a link on that video in the description box. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and fly. So first things first, let's set the controller to the max altitude and distance so we can push the drone to its limit. But according to the prompt earlier, legal law states that the max altitude should be at 120 meters only. So let's see if we can reach that. Now you see the drone ascending. Take a look at the lower left hand side where it says H. That's the altitude meter. Let's see how high we can get with this drone. And as we go higher, we're starting to observe latency in the remote control feed. So there's obviously a lot of interference up there. And we've reached the 120 meter mark and at the same time lost our connection to the drone. Let's see if the return to home feature will do its magic. I hope so. Okay, now that we're done with the altitude test, let's go ahead and test its distance. Let's look at the lower left hand side again, this time on the one where it says D. That's our distance meter. So at 110 meters, we're already seeing remote control feed latency. And looks like we're gonna lose the signal completely at 148 meters. There you go, we are no longer connected to the drone but this time it says fail safe return to home will be initiated. So let's see. And that's a test where we saw that the Mavic Mini managed to fly 120 meters in altitude and 148 meters in distance in a location that's highly urbanized and even close to an international airport. I won't be able to do any comparison because this is my only drone, so I will leave it up to you. If you have tips and tricks on how to maximize your drone's capacity, drop it on the comment section below. And I guess I'll just have to wait and see how this drone will perform in a less busier area. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.